Hi everyone, welcome to Test Clicks 2022. I am Sahil Puri, working as an engineering manager for quality team at Zupi. And the topic of my talk today is the multiverse of testing beyond the known universe. So let's start with the very fundamental question. What is a multiverse? According to the theory of parallel universes, multiverse is something that is beyond the known world or beyond the known dimension. You can also consider a large number of small universes combining into a much bigger force that can be referred to as a multiverse. Now, although it's a very controversial theory, but it is very intriguing and interesting to even imagine that such a world even exists. And what is more intriguing is to understand that how testing role shows characteristics of being close to a multiverse. Cool. So now let's see how a software testing role can be compared to a multiverse. So in this slide, I'm going to ask you a set of four questions and let's see how it all sums up. As a test engineer, have you ever felt that you know it all? I don't think so, because a modern day testing role not only requires depth, but also complete breadth knowledge about the product, which takes time, experience and hustle. Now, are you ever sure when to stop digging more? So there is no explicit tool or formula that will tell you when exactly to stop testing or how much testing is enough. Right. So you have to work on your own metrics and devise your own definition of done. But no matter how much you test, there will always be some unexplored areas in the form of risk. Now, do you ever feel that you are playing a combination of multiple roles? Well, actually, you might be. And the last but not the least, my favorite question. Before asking it to your stakeholders, your managers or your colleagues, I want every one of you to ask this question to yourself. Do you trust testing? Because if you do, then more than half of the work is done and you can do wonders. So with that note, welcome you to the multiverse of testing. Now on this slide, you would be able to see multiple planets and each planet represents an agile role and is a universe in itself. Now as test engineers, we are required to land on these planets every now and then and play these roles knowingly or unknowingly, multiple times in a day of our professional life with a focus on quality. So let's have a quick walkthrough of these planets. The first one being the planet of product management. Now, a test engineer has got to be a good product owner. It is the passion and the love for our product that is going to drive us in our role. We should be very comfortable with the concepts like user retention, user acquisition, understanding the requirement from business impact and the user impact and be able to contribute in the much earlier ideation phase of feature. The next planet being a fiery one is of course the planet of coding. Now a modern day test engineer is required to have the skill of reading and writing code, which in turn would help us to create more efficient test plans after understanding the code changes much more clearly and use the skill of writing code to automate the repeatable part of our test and process execution which would in turn help us to save our own time and invest it in something much more meaningful. Now, the third planet being the UI UX. As test engineers, we should be very comfortable with the concepts of usability, accessibility, UX performance, etc. because it constitutes the entire look and feel of the product or the application, which directly affects the user experience. I have seen quality teams driving the entire accessibility effort in the organization so why not you then comes the planet of devops and infrastructural development now a test engineer is expected to own and create and maintain its own test environment and also build CI/CD pipelines consuming the automation tools and automation cases and also be very comfortable uh, in tools like aws terraform jenkins etc and once you land on the planet of DevOps and be very comfortable with that role, you would then be able to contribute in release planning, release management, and the release engineering perspective of your tech. The next planet being the planet of project management. Now, as a test engineer, we put in our effort to prioritize the test cases or test plans, triage the bugs with an ultimate objective of releasing the build or the feature within the estimated timelines and highest quality. So project management is one of the most important skill of the test engineering role. And the last two planets takes us very close to our user base. 
which is honestly our bread and butter. As a test engineer, we are required to be very comfortable with data analytics and visualization tools in order to understand the usage patterns, the P0 user journeys of our users, which would help us in creating much efficient and better risk-based test plans. And the last panic being that of the user reviews and concerns, we should be able to create a robust feedback channel from this planet to other stakeholders and ensure that all the user concerns are heard, prioritized and fixed in a timely manner. Now, if you imagine all these planets coming together into a much combined and larger force, which we can then refer to as the multiverse of testing. But wait, where did this testing skill go? Yes, you are right. The sun on the top of your screen represents the testing skill, which is the central force holding all these planets in this multiverse. Right. So let's go to the million dollar question, which says, is there life on this multiverse? That is, what is the future of testing? Now, given the past of this role and how testing as a role is able to evolve over the past five to seven years, from being something which was seen as a support role to now the limelight of the entire SDLC. And the, with the advent of technology, so much competition around and the kind of choices the user has, the leadership and the management team of organization and companies have really started investing in the quality culture and quality teams. So no doubt this role has indeed become a backbone of every successful quality product in the market today. So after going through the depth of this, this role and considering the momentum it has picked up in the last decade or so, we can all agree that the future of testing is very, very promising and better than ever. On that note, thank you everyone for listening and happy testing.